Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is Mario Craft YouTube, and I'm here with a little bit of a kind of C4D review, not review, uh, C4D kind of tutorial on how to make your C4D renders the best quality that you can do and stuff like that. So, um, basically right now I am using the, excuse me, the virus paid rig, uh, version 1. Uh, I want version 2, but I sadly can't get it because he would not give it to me, the owner of, uh, of the, the rig. Uh, he would not give it to me because I purchased version 1, but he would not give it to me, sadly. I'm not happy about that. But, uh, hopefully I can get version 2 quick. But, yeah, this is version two, 1. If you want this rig, uh, he, his link to the YouTube video will be in the description. Uh, but, yeah. So, basically, right now I'm just going to show you guys how to get the best quality uh, for any render. This is just the rig I'm using. You can use Fast Minecraft rig. You can use the Brig. You can use any rig, basically. Um, even non-Minecraft related rigs. So, right now, first, I'm just going to quick change my skin. So we're going to go to, um, one sec, so let's go to skins, uh, where should that be, skins, right, now skins, there we go, and we're going to get the 1.7 skin, there we go, so now we have my skin in, uh, I'm just going to change the color of the eyes, you can do whatever you want to your pose, you can make the arms bend or whatever, you can do whatever the heck you want. Just how, uh, this is just the way my skin, my render works, uh, or my rig works, uh, depending on how your rig works, it will be different to change stuff and stuff like that, or depending on what rig you have, so yeah. So there we go, so we got that, um, I'm just gonna, let me quick do a basic, uh, leg position thingamajinga. There we go, and then I wanna just turn them. There we go, that should be good, so there we go, that's basic. Um, that's pretty good. I just want to actually change, oops, let me go back. I want to actually change that to be a little bit closer. There we go. So that should be good. That's the, not basic, that's the basic thing that you're going to do. So after you've done that, now what we're going to, I'm going to show you is basically how to make your render settings pretty cool and stuff. Um, first, but actually you need a light room. A light room is something that you basically, it basically, you see these things? It, uh, has multiple of these to make your renders look more light, so they look like they're not completely dark. They basically just have more of those, um, and it's basically a pack. Um, there are many, there's the gorilla lighting, there's also, I have my own light, lighting room. Link will be in the description with all my social media, selfie.com slash MarioCraft, uh, selfie spelled with two L's. Um, basically, if you go check it, um, you can check out my, I have, right here's the pack, let me see it, Lightroom, Lightroom and Redder settings, I have them all preset for you. Uh, there's the thing, This you will get this zip folder here, we'll go in, you come in, you read me, I'm um, actually, no, blah, 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 go away, go away, go away. Okay, hopefully that was on the other screen because I don't want to show you that because that is a code on it. But you will read that. It will tell you what you got. Um, you have the render settings. You just put them in. You have the light room and the fully customizable uh, light room. So you have two light rooms, actually. Um, the main one I use is this one, the fully customizable one. Uh, but, yeah, I'm actually going to take these settings right here and I'm going to put them in right here. So after I've put them in, there what? I don't think it worked. Let me just put them on for the desktop one. Okay, there we go. So that's it. So we're gonna do that. There's the render settings. So let's go in and check what they are. So we're gonna see what they are. The render settings here, if we go into them. Uh, usually, okay, so here we have, uh, basically you just wanna put PNG. I usually turn this to 16-bit. I should change that. So if you get that changed to the 16-bit. Um, alpha channel, uh, straight channel, always allowed. Uh, you always want that. Um, so then we am actually gonna delete this and put that. So we have output uh, 1920 by 1080 is the uh, render uh, width or whatever. You don't have to really worry about this thing. It's junk. You don't need it. Uh, so nothing really here. Uh, I've actually found out that blurriness taking that off actually helps a little bit. Uh, ambient occlusion, nothing there. Just um, add all those things if you don't have them. So basically, if you want any of those things and you don't have this render pack, just go to this effect. 
and just add what you need if you don't have this pack. But if you don't, if you want the pack and you don't feel like doing all this, just go buy it on my graphic shop. So right here, basically you want global illumination also. Also, just go and add caustics too. Um, makes it a little bit weirder and nicer. Not weirder, but yeah. So um, sometimes if it doesn't work, you just want to go to this. Um, it says global illumination, cash fire or not something when you go to render it. Uh, just go back, go to this now, um, go into that, and just desktop, save. I think it's loading. Never mind. Wait. That's not what I want. Actually. Okay. Well, I think that should... We're not going to do custom. That shouldn't... No, I think it should work if I do that. So you might not need to do that. Because I don't think it needs me to do that. So that's why it's not working. Uh, but yeah. So now you see there's a little bit of shadows. It's too dark. You want the sides to be nicer. So I'm going to use also... Like I said, there's my, my, gra my graphic pack also has... Actually, I do have a graphic pack for Photoshop and stuff, but right now we're just using... The other one that I'm telling you to buy is actually not the graphics pack. It's, it actually says Lightroom and Render Settings. Um, but basically, the one I'm going to use now is uh, also has... It is in there. It's the fully customizable Lightroom. Um, so we're going to take that and we're going to put it in. Now, the one I use is this one here. I'm going to use that. And I usually don't use the background so I can have it transparent. Just... Just open it up, highlight all that, take it out, delete, done. There you go, so you got that. That's pretty easy. And then I usually, there needs to be still a couple more lights usually. Why is it? Oh, and then I forgot. So basically, if you don't want your render to look all yellow and stuff like that, um, you just want to click the light room. You want to go down, just change all this, change it to what I'm changing. Black, black, not being racist. And then do this, black again. And then we're not going to be racist because we want to be white there. Um, yep. So, uh, you want to take that. Black also. No. Black also. There we go. And there we go. That will change it so your render doesn't look all yellowish and stuff. But though it's too dark, uh, you want some background lighting and plus on the sides a little bit too dark. So I usually do still add like about two, two or three more lights extra. So you got that there. Just go up and click this and just let it go and it should come up. So, yeah. So we're going to do this, go up here. So this render settings and stuff should work on all computers, uh, unless you have like an old Vista or XP, uh, maybe not, but you should see. So you're going to go over here, go up there, just there you go, and you got that. That's basically, that basically what you need. So now I'm just going to change the mouth, make it good. Um, there we go. And then I need to make teeth. There we go. So you got that basically. Uh, teeth and stuff is good. We're all good. So there's the render basically. So um, uh, if you have this rig, you just go to tools and I'm going to go like this. Uh, and then I'm going to go. And then I'm going to go like this actually. Yeah, like that. So I'm going to go like that. So that's pretty cool. And then basically we have the render. It's pretty much good. Um, the only thing I really want to do is go like this and put the head like facing up, not too far. There we go. So that's pretty good. So that's basically how you just make the render. I mean, there we go. Well, pretty good. There's not much else to do. Um, so I'll show you how it looks when it renders. Uh, yep. So we'll come up. Uh, and this should be pretty good. And delete all this junk. Oh, can you go back? It's one second. It's frozen. Uh, about eight minutes is coming up. My recording software for this thing only allows eight seconds, so I'm good. I mean, it, it ten minutes. I'm sorry. Um, so after it ends ten minutes, I'm probably going to have to. Uh, I think it's frozen, so that may give it a second. I'll be right back when it is unfrozen. Excuse me, I took a bite of my food while I was uh, out. Oh, while I was taking a bite, but I saw it came back on. Sorry, I didn't get in time. But I didn't change anything. Excuse me, let me eat. Yeah, I didn't change anything since uh, it started rendering. And basically, basically what I use for this photo viewer, it's not good at all. It looks horrible because if I look, well, depending on how zoom you are, but if you look, look at the edges. They're all weird. This photo viewer is a horrible photo viewer. It doesn't really show you what it fully looks like or the potential of it is. So after it's done here, I'm going to go File. Uh, basically, this is what you would do also. 
But I want to show you what else to do to find it better so you, it doesn't look as horrible as it does. Look at that. Look at the edges. It's weird. It's not actually like that if it comes out like that, just so you know. So I'm going to click. Oh. So you go save as. Um, basically, you can see 16. That should be set. You already set that in render settings. Nothing to do with that. Alpha channel should already be set because we already changed that um, in render settings. So now you go to desktop. That's why I'm going to post it uh, or upload it on save it. Sorry. So after you've saved it. For whatever location you want, click it on the side, click it here, um, just name it, I'm going to name it Billy Bob Joe, that's because I'm amazing, yep, so, we're going to go save here, and now, as you see, like I said, this is horrible quality, even when you zoom in there, it's like weird, it actually isn't like that, it's just this photo viewer for uh, Cinema 40 is actually junk, so yeah, so now it, it ended up right here, so we're gonna go preview, preview. So let's see. So we're gonna bring it over here. So there's actually what it looks like. It looks pretty darn good. I really like it. Um, so that's a pretty good render, and actually, I actually like that. Um, it's better than any of my other windows. <laughs> so um, that's basically how you do it. Uh, like I said, just go on to. I'm actually gonna show you my graphics website now. Um, how to get my graphics pack because I told you a little bit wrong at the beginning of the video saying it was the graphics pack I do also have a graphics pack for Photoshop and stuff um, and it uh, contains so many photos. I think it's like a thousand something. I don't know Maybe not a thousand. I thought it's like 300. I don't know, but let me f open up Google Chrome I have some reasons not working up here. So I have to run as administrator there. There we go. So let's see So we're gonna bring it over I don't want to transfer songs right now, so go to this. So we're going to go www.selfie.com slash Mario Craft. That's basically it. You want to just type that, www.selfie.com slash Mario Craft. Also, in my description of uh, my videos, where all my social media links are. Again. Okay. So now it should be loading. As you might know, I'm partnered with Freedom, partnered with Full Screen also, which is pretty cool. So yeah. So okay, it should be loading now. Um, yep, yep. Maybe, maybe never. Okay. Oh, there we go. So basically, here as it loads up, um, I actually have to change that banner because I actually got a new banner. If I will show you that, because I'm gonna give a shout out to somebody at the end of the video. Uh, but. Here's all the things you can buy. You can buy the GFX pack, which I accidentally said at the beginning, version 1, which you can buy. But, uh, yeah. These are basically the best graphics you can get. Um, so I originally had the graphics pack at 10. Somebody, excuse me, somebody said it was overpriced. I don't think it was overpriced, because it's actually less expensive than any other GFX pack. And it's a little bit better, actually, I think. But, uh, yeah. Um, so, I changed it just for them. So, they never bought it. So, I'm sad. I cry every time. So, this is basically what you want. This is the render settings and light rooms, the basic thing. This is just a light room render that I will make myself um, for you, that you can buy from, from me to for I make yourself. But, if you want to make it yourself um, and have my settings that I showed off in this video and everything, uh, right here it is. It's 550. Um, not that bad. Because it has two light rooms. One, just a regular light room that looks like this. Uh, customizable light room is the other one. And then, like, fully customizable, the one I used in the video. And then you also have the, what else did you have? Uh, oh, and my render settings. So, yeah. You can also just go, if I go through the other things, you can buy an intro for me. Uh, but here's the, 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 one of my examples. You can buy extruded renders. Renders, pack of four renders extruded. You can buy a basic 2D outro. Um, 3D banner with custom C4DC in the background. I've actually made a new one. I'm gonna change that soon. Uh, I'll show you at the end of the video. Uh, Ken's Games. Uh, what? Nah, it's not called Ken's Games. You can buy a custom 2D text, a custom 3D Photoshop 3D text. Um, uh, you can buy a custom MC gradient. Um, up here was the pack of full render extruded. And a YouTube thumbnail. So those are basically the things you can buy. Um, for the uh, render. I mean for the. Uh, banner. I've actually made a new banner not too long ago for for somebody. Just actually today, I finished it and I made it for um, its realities. One of my friends on YouTube. So here's the banner, how it looks. I think it came out pretty good. It's probably one of my best banners. Um, so yeah, that was C4D, and then after I used Photoshop for it, but that's pretty cool. 
So as my YouTube channel loads up, I'm going to show you the new banner that I've just got by somebody called Shock is Gaming. Um, he's pretty cool, and he's amazing, and I'm so happy they made me this banner. I actually bought it. I'm not going to say how much and stuff. If you want to check it out, go to his uh, graphic shop, which is somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but... This is basically the banner. I love it. It's amazing. It says that I'm part of my freedom down here. Um, also, if you want to check out my graphic shop without having to type that link in, just go right here. It's all my thing. GFX and then Twitter and everything else you need. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, if you, you, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm not telling you that you need to. Not telling you have to whatsoever. But if you want to help me make awesome, more awesome videos, you can support me by clicking here. Not doing ads or whatever. But uh, you can put me, you can spend a dollar, you can give me a dollar, you can give me five dollars, you can give me point zero zero four cents, I don't care. You can give me whatever you want, but you don't have to do it even at all. Uh, and you can also add a comment. But that is just if you want me to help me make better videos. That will help me for sure to help to make better videos. Um, but no matter how much you pay or if you even don't pay at all you guys your guys support um you guys commenting down in the video saying awesome mario or i like cheese or uh, anything is also support and that will also be just as good as paying three cents or point zero five cents but i hope you guys enjoyed uh please uh like this video if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it and i'll see y'all later peace